Hey guys, it's Lisa, or wait, shall I say it's um, Red Leader standing by because yes, I am all dressed up for Star Wars night. I cannot wait. This is one of the events that I've just been so excited for and I just want to try all of the Star Wars food and I want to see as many characters as I can and see the entertainment. I want to do as many Star Wars things as I can. I am just so excited, so excited. So come along with me, let's hang out and may the, may the force be with us. Let's have a Star Wars night tonight. <laughs> Let me show you my outfit really quick. And yes, I'm an outfit repeater. I did wear this last year. I went to two Star Wars nights last year and I wore this as the second outfit. And I'm an X-Wing pilot. And I have the helmet to match. I'm so excited. This makes sounds. I don't know if you could hear that. It was like an R2 sound. But yes, I have the helmet. I can carry it around. And then the jacket, this is from Shop Disney, but it's a children's jacket. It's like a children's size medium and it's small, okay? You can tell the sleeve length is a little bit short. The sleeves are a little bit tight, but this is so cute. In fact, look, I can't zip it up all the way, but if I could, it would look like that. And I just think this is a really nice high quality jacket. I got it off of like eBay because I didn't buy it on Shop Disney. But anyway, I also have my lightsaber and I have a children's belt to attach the lightsaber. I got the belt from here at Galaxy's Edge. And I have the Skywalker lightsaber. So I'm kind of like, you know, Luke in Empire Strikes Back. I have the Leia Hoth hair. I'm just so excited. So let's go check in and Star Wars. Oh, the other thing I was gonna say to you, I was thinking of either the helmet or I was going to have like a stuffed wampa as my accessory. I ended up going with the helmet, but I thought the wampa would be so cute, right? But I decided I just didn't want to carry around a plush and instead wanted to carry around this bulky helmet instead. <laughs> Check it out. A wampa, a stuffed wampa, and he has his lair right here with all of the creatures that he's devoured. Should he be my friend for the night? He's kind of cute. He's also very soft and very fluffy and hopefully he would not harm me. You know, if he did, I would do the force grab. I would get my lightsaber, even though I don't have the blade for it. Um, but yes, he seems like a nice little companion, but maybe not for today. He is very soft though. <laughs> Let's get a wristband on you. You want on this wrist here? Yes, thank you. Okay, well, we're gonna put that on. Let's make sure it's not too tight. How does that feel right there? I feel like it's been a little while since I last talked to you, and because it has been, it's been over an hour, over an hour and a half, but I did get checked in at Starcade, and this is a tip for you. So if you're gonna be coming one of the other nights for Star Wars night, you can check in outside at the front gates, or you can check in inside, and they let both of those lines check in early. So I was able to check in at five, even though on the ticket it says 6 p.m. And then my friends that checked in at the gate, they said they started letting people in at 5.30. So that's a tip, you know? And also, did I mention this? Starcade is between the exit of Space Mountain and Star Traders, which is the merch. It's the store location right there. So in case you're like iffy of and you don't know where it is. But anyway, yes, that is going on. But in case you're wondering what I've been doing for the past couple hours, for the past hour and a half or so, I've been in line for Queen Amidala. Okay, I this is a really long line when I say massive it is massive and It's just it's insane. So let's get back into that line and I'll show you how long it is So this is the line about an hour before the event starts so the end of the line is all the way over here and it goes all the way over here it crosses over the little bridge and then there's a couple of switchbacks right in front of the theater and then there's switchbacks inside of the theater that is a pretty long line i'm gonna guesstimate that this is about hmm a two to three hour long a three hour long line probably right now and yes at 8 p.m the event doesn't start until nine <laughs> This is a really awkward angle, but I am crouching over right now. And yes, you get to see all my flyaway hairs. There's conveniently a light right behind my head. But anyway, they moved the line inside, so now we are part of the switchbacks inside. And there's only about 20 minutes until the event starts. This is a very exciting time for us. And we're very soon going to see what outfit is she going to wear, because that's the question on everybody's minds. What outfit is she wearing? It started! The event has finally started! <gasps> okay, 
But where's Padme? Also, maybe where's Anakin? That's the rumor that Anakin's gonna be here. Look who it is. It's, it's Queen Amidala. Oh my god, I was about to call you Padme, but I don't think I'm allowed to call you Padme. You can call me Padme if you like. I'm a queen, but I'm also a senator, and I'm also just a regular girl. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. I think you might have to come a little bit closer so we can get a look at the outfit. Maybe you could do a spin for us. Oh, I don't mind at all. A gentle spin, you know? She's royalty, so she can't do, like, anything to... You're very gracious. <laughs> Thank you, know? you. And I said you're a pilot. I am. I am at your service. Oh, I am at, I'm a pilot at your service. Maybe I could fly one of those, you know, really nice ships you have on Naboo. I would love to join our ranks. Shall we do a picture that. together? I would love yeah, that. I would Okay, so fireworks, amazing, but Luke and Leia are here at Star Wars night. It's like a surprise, and I didn't want to go see them, but after the fireworks, I tried walking to Tomorrowland, but it was a sea of people, like a huge sea of people. So I decided to do the opposite, go to Critter Country, where the Ewoks and the Jawas are. And right now, I'm in line to meet the Jawas, and I am most excited because last year, they had the Jawas and you met two at a time, but this year, you get to meet one at a time but you get to meet R5, and I love R5, you know? I don't know a lot about him, but I know that he's the reason why we have R2-D2, and that is a good enough reason. <laughs> it's R5! I'm so excited to meet R5. R5 is the, he's the reason why we have R2-D2. He looks amazing, and you look amazing, but I, I heard you look great. You're so excited. This is so crazy right now, but I am like kneeling down on the ground and the reason why is because I ordered food from Jolly Holiday. They had a lot of good things, but it is madness over in Town Square and down Main Street up to the hub because of that insane dance party. So I'm just gonna tell you about what I got over here and taste it for you. Or actually, I should say that I already ordered one thing. I already tasted it, it was really good. So I'll tell you what that thing is. That is the bulgogi toasted cheese sandwich and corn cheese soup. So it's marinated beef, grilled onion, mozzarella, and kimchi aioli on toasted sourdough with a sweet creamed corn and mozzarella soup. So the bulgogi toasted cheese was really savory and Jolly Holiday really did an A-plus job on the bread this time. It was toasted so nice nicely, so buttery, and then the bulgogi was just like super flavorful, really nice, and it was so cheesy. And then the corn soup was nice and like warm, and especially because it's gonna be kind of chilly for the next like three After Dark events here for Star Wars night, it was really good. So get that, and then I have two other desserts that I have not tried, so let's give them a taste. The first dessert we're gonna try is the pandan croissant. It's a croissant stuffed with pandan pastry cream, dragon fruit, and toasted coconut. It looks very unique. It looks very Star Wars-y, okay? Let's see. Oh no. This is, okay, on these After Dark events, you just have to go very, like, rogue with it, right? So like, right now, this is, oh wow. Oh wow, wow, what is happening in there? I don't know, okay. Let's try a bite over here so I can get some of the dragon fruit. This looks unique, right? I don't know, it doesn't look very appetizing, but Star Wars food sometimes doesn't. This isn't bad, but it's not great. It doesn't have a lot of flavor. It really tastes like cream. It has a lot of cream. It basically tastes like a sweet cream on top of a croissant. 
and it's not out of this world, but it is very colorful. Look at that on the inside. It's also gooing on my finger. So, okay, let me tell you what the second one is. The second one is the strawberry macaron. This is filled with strawberry buttercream and a soft ganache center, and it looks very pretty. Oh no, mine just like kind of came apart. Okay, oh no, mine's kind of mushy too. What's, oh, it's the, never mind. It's the croissant cream, it just got on it, but let's just be crazy. It's also so glittery. Let's just break it in half. Ooh, ooh, oh wow, that's the ganache in the middle. Oh no. Okay, everything is getting messy here, but that's what these after dark events are for, right? To be messy? I don't know about that, but let's taste it. So I took a bite with that chocolate ganache center and it was overwhelming. It was so thick and so chocolatey. I do love a good chocolate dessert, but I don't like it when it's overwhelming. This was overwhelming, so I did take another bite to try and get the strawberry. The strawberry was not really flavorful. It wasn't very potent and I kind of needed it to balance out that chocolate. It was okay. And also the glitter is a little bit... I don't know why, but this star glitter in particular is really plasticky and it just got stuck to the roof of my mouth, which is a little bit odd, but I don't know. I'm kind of disappointed, but that sandwich, I love that sandwich, so I think you should get it. Walking through Galaxy's Edge, just trying to see who we can find. I'm kind of sad, so they split up C-3PO and R2-D2, and in the last year, so last year they had them together, I had the joyous pleasure of getting to meet both of them together, but I also had to wait three hours for that line, okay? That was a long, long line. I'll put pictures and maybe I'll insert some of the video because that was an adorable meet and greet. Okay, wait a second. Where are we? What are we doing? There's a crowd. I wonder who's here. C-3PO, how are you? It's so fantastic meeting you. Is it okay? Am I able to shake your hands? I can shake your hands? This makes me so happy. Thank you. And maybe I'll meet R2-D2 later. Okay. It was delightful to see you. Simply delightful. It was a delight. Goodbye. <laughs> Can you hear the Mandalorian song? It's because I'm by the Mythosaur little photo op over here. I did this last year. It's just a giant Mythosaur skull. It's really cool, but instead of doing that, I wanted to meet Chopper because he is one of the three brand new characters. Well, now we have Annie and we have Luke and Leia meeting over at Star Wars Launch Bay, but I just relearned a very important lesson about these After Dark events, and that is that they're just chaos, okay? They're such chaos because I was trying to find Chopper, and I asked one cast member, and she was like, oh, well, BB-8 and Chopper swap out at the BB-8 location and I was like hmm that doesn't sound right at all because droids don't take breaks why would they have to be swapped out and I asked two other cast members and they confirmed that it's actually over here by Red Rose Tavern so I would say if you ever get some information you're like I don't know I don't know if that sounds right ask some more people because it's chaos on these nights and sometimes nobody really knows I won't touch you chopper but <laughs> You're making so many cute sounds. Are you having a good night? You you look like you're having the best night. I'm Well, I'm so excited to meet you. I like how tall you are. You're just the right height for a droid. I agree. But anyway, thank you so much. Have an amazing night today. <laughs> Shut the front door. Shut it right now. I am so excited about this. So this has been the rumor since this morning, since, well, for, I've been hearing this all day, but everyone has been saying that Anakin was gonna come out. And then when Luke and Leia came out, we were like, oh, okay, never mind. But look, he's here. I, I cannot believe this. He came out right as we were walking past. I'm screaming. I love him. I wish we could meet him. <laughs> I just wanted to say hi because, well, I've been waiting for you all night, I won't lie. I truly have. I was really hoping to see you and you came out just in time. It's almost like I have a Jedi sense. Jedi reflexes are strong. Yes, sense. my Jedi reflexes are strong, but not as strong as yours. Ooh, we kind of have matching lightsabers. Yeah, it looks really good, but you look really fantastic. And also, I, I'm also a pilot like you, but I'm not as good as you. Do I have the best 
Yes, Jedi luck or what? I am so excited. So Annie did come out. Yes, I know I am on a nickname basis with him now, but he did come out right as I was walking by and I'm just so excited. So they did swap him with Amidala. So I have a feeling on subsequent nights, they're going to swap them and you won't be able to choose who you get. But I got to have an entire conversation with him. I have the biggest crush on him, I think. Well, the character, I just love Hayden Christensen, but I am in awe. This is a highlight of the night for sure. That was so cool. And you know what? Queen Amidala was also great, but it felt kind of weird to see them at the same time. I was like, wait, you guys should not be in the same room, right? Like different timelines, what's happening? But I can't believe it. That was so cool. So the very first secret of Star Wars Night is Anakin. Anakin was a secret that we didn't know if he was gonna come out or not, but he did, which is very exciting. But then the second thing is Luke and Leia. And I did not know about Luke and Leia until I actually got here and I'm super excited. So it's over at Star Wars Launch Bay and even the cast members now are saying it's for R2-D2, but it is it is technically true. So they're coming in and out. They're not always here. So you can kind of like just look around, but it is also just an Oogie Boogie style meet and greet where you don't actually get to really chat with them. You can kind of just like walk by, but they do want you to keep walking. But that's amazing because it just means that it's just like, it's fast for everyone. So let's go do it right now. Galactic Grill and Galactic Grill has a ton of food offerings and I'm very excited. So there's five in total. I was actually only able to get four because it's the end of the night and they ran out of the Wookiee Parfait. But I did get to sample my friend Sarah's at the beginning of the night and it was okay. Well, actually, no, I take it back. Okay, so there was like toffee bits in it, which I loved. That part was great, but the rest of it was just like average chocolate cake, like spongy chocolate cake with like a lot of frosting, a lot of frosting. And Sarah did not like it. So I will give you that as a little bit of a preface. And also I will say that I love toffee. So I probably was gonna give it a little bit of a better score just cause I love that flavor. So if you do too, I say that you should get it. But if you don't, maybe pass on it. But I'll tell you the other things that I got. So over here at Galactic Grill, there's two drinks. The first one is the pineapple coconut juice. This is pineapple juice, coconut milk, and lime juice garnished with pineapple chunks and lotus root and the lotus root they dyed blue it looks really cool and I already tasted it okay it's really good and everybody that I talked to tonight also loved it so I recommend that it tastes like a pina colada it's very fresh and very like juicy and cooling and tropical yum get that but let me show you the other things I got so here is everything that I ordered from Galactic Grill minus the Wookiee Parfait. I did order that. It was the fifth item in my order, but because it's after midnight, they already sold out. So unfortunately, I was not able to get it. So, oh, I mean, that's also another thing. If you really, really want something, maybe pick it up earlier in the day just because they do kind of run out. But let me tell you what these things are. This is the Bacon and Slaw Burger. It's a third pound Angus patty, marinated pork belly, American cheese, Asian inspired slaw, and sambal sweet mayo on a toasted brioche bun. And those are not your typical looking fries. Those are yuca fries. And then right over here, these are the Phyrexian fries. So I'm pretty sure this is from Andor, right? Like Daughters of Phyrex? I think so, right? And then also it's the planet, correct? Oh my gosh, correct me if I'm wrong. But anyway, waffle fries, pork chorizo, chili de arbol cheese sauce, and black beans topped with avocado tomatillo sauce, green onions, and a Oaxaca cheese. That is a lot. So yeah, let's go ahead and try this. Well, minus this tropical drink. The tropical drink is great. We're gonna try the burger first. I did cut it in half so I could get a little cross section. It looks messy and also it looks, I don't know. The bun does look fresh though. We love that, but it feels a little cold. So let's give it a bite. thing I'm gonna say is 
I don't know if I like that. <laughs> Mine is a little bit cold and it tastes a lot like bread. I don't know what's going on here, but it tastes like bread and it tastes like the, the sauce for the slaw. And the sauce for the slaw is a little bit spicy, a little bit tangy. And I'm tasting a lot of the American cheese. The American cheese is really coming through, which is an odd flavor when you're mixing it with everything else. Hmm. Okay, it's not bad. It's like, I feel like all the flavors are kind of melding in an interesting way, but interesting. Very interesting. <laughs> Let me try one of the yuca fries though. So here they are. These are also cold, but very crisp, which is great. They're fried really nicely, and they have like a heartier, more fibrous kind of texture than a regular french fry. I mean, obviously, but this one, I'm 50-50. I have a feeling other people will probably like it, and other people will probably hate it. So if you're curious, give it a try. And if you're not curious, well then obviously like just, you know, don't try it. <laughs> now let's go ahead and try these fries. Oh wait, the fries are shockingly better than the burger, or maybe I'm not surprised by that. They have a little bit of spice to them. They have like a lot of different flavors, but they're familiar flavors. Like, you know, if you like Mexican food, if you like nachos, you're definitely gonna feel at home with this. And I would definitely recommend this over the burger, for sure. And then this right here, this is the Bosque Brew. This is Sprite and Lemon Lime Powerade served with a scoop of lime sorbet. And I think this is very fun, mainly because I think Bosque is kind of a cool character. He's a little bit rough around the edges, okay? But he's, he's cool. Ooh, okay. So I let mine melt. This has been sitting here for a little while and the sorbet is making everything really creamy and like thicker and like more, not like a milkshake, but I guess if you were to have a sorbet milkshake, sure, this is what this is. The flavors are good. It's very like lemon lime Powerade. But I like it. This is good. It's basic, it's good. And you know what I was saying earlier today? I was like, wait, how cool would it be if Bosque was a meet and greet character or just all of the bounty hunters? That would be so cool. But Bosque in particular, I would want to meet him. so good but also sometimes you just want a little bit of the dark side hey Darth Vader you're looking great very intimidating we love you yes I just I just gave a thumbs up to Darth Vader that was not awkward Ooh, and look it's Darth Maul Darth Maul you have so many lightsaber tricks we love it. He doesn't say a lot, but he doesn't need to. Yes, good job. Wow, why am I giving them the thumbs up? This is... Uh. <laughs> Let me show you the very last thing that I got. This is the dark side pretzel. This is from the pretzel car in Tomorrowland. It's a cream cheese pretzel dipped in spiced cookie crumble cream sauce topped with red pearl decorations and silver edible glitter. And I can smell it. I can already smell it. So let's take a bite into this. And then I think this is gonna be it for the night. Oh no, I just picked it up. This thing is saucy. Did it just drip on me? How dare you? Who do you think you are? But okay, let's bite into it. Oh wow, that spiced flavor is definitely coming through. That is like a very intense spiced chocolate. If you do not like spice, this is gonna be too spicy for you. And it has a lot of cocoa flavor and mine it was perfectly toasty and so warm, but very, very like more spicy, very more spicy, <laughs> very much more spicy, much more spicy. You can tell it's the end of the night, but yes, much more spicy than I would think but still good, I really liked it. And plus the texture of a cream cheese pretzel, you can never go wrong, so very good. So I would recommend this if you like a little bit of spice, a little bit of kick, get it. So that is a wrap on Star Wars night 2023. Well, okay, the first night. If you're coming to the second, third, fourth night, well then you still have that ahead of you and I hope you have so much fun. I hope you get to meet as many characters and get to have as much food as you want and all that good stuff and I would definitely say plan ahead because I feel like I just really lucked out. I got to see Amidala, I got to see Anakin. That was the highlight for sure. I, I'm still in awe of that. That was amazing. And then what else? I mean, I will say the food wasn't amazing, okay? The food wasn't the best. My favorite thing was from Jolly Holiday, that sandwich, and then the tropical drink from Galactic Grill. 
but yeah, not too shabby. And then I didn't really do any of the photo ops. I kind of wanted to do Bo-Katan's like throne and then also the Emperor's throne, but alas, not enough time, which is typically what happens in an After Dark event. See, I can't even hold the camera right now. I'm getting a little bit sleepy. Okay, well anyway, I think that means that it's a wrap for me and I'm gonna go turn into a pumpkin. But anyway, I hope I will see you guys all soon. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm tired. Okay, may the force be with us all. Okay, good night. Thank you guys for watching. <laughs>